In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a spreadsheet type document that you can share with colleagues or students, and I'll show you how to do that using Moodle. You need to be logged into your Google account, like your school email or your personal Google account, and the toolbar in the top will give you several options. One of them is either going to be Docs or Drive, depending on if you've upgraded yet or not. Google Docs has now been changed to Google Drive. For me, it shows up as Google Drive on my toolbar, so I'm going to click on Drive, and this opens up my Google Drive page. Over on the left-hand side, you have Upload button and a Create button, both red buttons. If you're interested in uploading existing files that you already have created, you can see a video that I've uploaded to Moodle that shows you how to do that. But today, we're interested in creating. So I'm going to click the Create button, and it's a spreadsheet that I want to create. So I click on Spreadsheet and you see what looks very much like any spreadsheet editing page, like if you opened up an Excel spreadsheet. And many of the same features are there. So I can put a heading here, um, another heading, for example, and then I can put some number here, like two. For price, I can put 50 cents, 0 0.50. And then I can even insert formulas like I would in Excel. So clicking in here, I can hit an equal sign, same formatting that you'd see in Excel. And I'm going to take the number and multiply by the price to get the total. When I hit Enter, there's my price. And I can format that by highlighting that cell, clicking Format, Number, and then I can choose a number of different options. I want it to be currency, and so forth. And there's a whole list of functions that are available. You can get the common ones just by clicking this little pull-down menu, but if you click More Functions, you can see that there's a wide variety of different functions that you can insert. It's probably almost as many or maybe more than are available in something more powerful like Microsoft Excel. So now that I've created this little spreadsheet, I can share it with my students or colleagues by going over to the right-hand side and clicking the blue Share button. Right now, this is set up so that it's private, and only the people that are listed below have access to it. Right now, that's only me, the owner of the document. If I click the Change button, I have options for sharing. One is I can click Public on the web. This makes it available to anyone who can find it. For m most teachers, that's probably not the option we want. We want it just to go to our students or colleagues. So we can click anyone with the link has access. Now, below that, I have edit access. Right now, if I share this link with someone, they can only look at it. They can't really edit it. If I click the Allow Anyone to Edit button, anyone who has the link can edit this document. This might be good if you have a project that you want the students to collaborate on and all enter their data into the same spreadsheet so you could allow them to edit. If I click Save at this point, this little box opens up, and there are five sharing options that immediately appear. One is you can share it with mail, Gmail, Google+, Facebook, or Twitter. So those social media options are available. But for most of us who are working on Moodle, it's probably a good idea to just take the highlighted URL that's already in the little box and copy it. So let's go to Moodle. Here's the module I want to share this in. So I'll click Add a Resource and then I'll click URL. This little box opens up, so I'm going to put a title of spreadsheet, and I'm going to make that my description as well, just to keep things simple. And then I go down to the external URL box, and I just paste in the link that Google gave me. Click Save and Return to Course, and there's my link. When I click on it, or when my students click on it, it opens this up in Google Docs, and because of the settings that I have, anybody can now go in and change what they need to, and it will automatically update. So that's how you can create and share a spreadsheet-type document using Moodle and Google Drive. Now, the advantage to doing this this way is that if I have a student or a colleague who doesn't have Microsoft Excel, for example, and I created the original spreadsheet on Excel, they could download it, but they couldn't really edit it. Now, anyone can edit this who has access to the Internet because the software and the document all exist on the cloud. And so this makes this 
ultimately shareable in the most unrestrictive way.